So you have to think about like what problem salt loading is solving. So if you're loading someone up with salt, you're basically saying we are going to try to expand your blood volume for a period of time. And that becomes just a giant sledgehammer of a way to try to approach a problem. So you're saying like, we have no idea why your heart rate's up. We're kind of assuming it's because something's wrong with your circulatory system. So rather than figure out what's wrong with how your brain is controlling the circulatory system, we're saying like, we're just going to try to overfill your blood volume so that you've, you've got more blood than you actually need. And if we can do that, then like, hopefully you'll feel a little better with that. And that's kind of the main thing. But the problem with that is that your body's not dumb. It knows how much salt it wants to have with like a high level of precision, your kidneys have these super delicate advanced systems to be able to detect how much blood volume someone has and then match that with the hemodynamic, like how fast it's flowing and then figure out exactly how much of a concentration of salt do we need to have in the system to be able to make all this stuff work and then your kidneys will excrete it the way it's supposed to. So there's this whole neurogenic system and hormonal system that's in charge of keeping that regulated. So by saying we're just going to overstimulate you with salt, you really end up just creating more difficulty on that end for your body to be able to constantly be having to get rid of the salt again. So as a long-term strategy, you can see where it would break down. As a short-term strategy, it will serve the purpose of creating what's called volume expansion or increasing your blood volume. But to what end? What problem are we actually trying to solve? What we're actually seeing in most cases is we have relative hypovolemia, which is different than absolute hypovolemia. Relative hypovolemia means that for whatever reason, even though I have enough blood volume, it's not circulating appropriately. My brain is not commanding my arterial system well enough to be able to push blood where it's trying to go when we're trying to put it there. That's different than absolute hypovolemia, which means that overall we're dehydrated, we don't have enough blood volume. In that circumstance, increasing blood volume makes sense, but that's not typically the chronic problem. The chronic problem that we're trying to solve for is blood is not being shunted or moved around the body in an efficient way. And when that happens, it's gonna tend to suffer with putting blood flow into the brain. That's the problem we're solving for is, are we getting blood flow actually into the brain? And in most cases, we're not even attempting to figure out why we're not getting it there.